Hello at DCSCH Science, I'm here to talk to you about the phospholipid bilayer. Looks a bit like this, okay, long strings of things, uh, but it's not just a string, it's a whole layer of it. Right, okay, so it looks like this. It's got a hydrophilic head and a hydrophobic tail made of fatty acid chains which hate water. However, the hydrophilic heads love water. Now, what are we talking about here? Well, it looks like this. This is a cell, actually. Uh, the DNA is kept in the nucleus around it is the RER, covered in ribosomes. Uh, and then you've also got some smoothie R, a Golgi, some mitochondria. But we're looking at this, the cell membrane. But what does it look like? Well, not just phospholipids, I'm afraid. No, there are other things too, like this. This is a protein channel. It's got gates, not all of them do, and it pushes substances from high to low concentration, down a concentration gradient. This is how water gets in. It's passive, it's easy, it's diffusion. Also, other diffusion occurs, facilitated diffusion. This is a protein carrier, and it's taking things through a complementary shape. Now, this is why it's called facilitated, because it chooses its selective diffusion. Also, this is uh, a protein carrier, and it's pushing things from low to high concentration, which requires ATP. This is active transport. Now, these are both protein carriers. Uh, also, this is a carbohydrate for cell recognition. Now these things, they go all around the cell, uh, and the bit in between is the, hydrophil the hydrophilic core. Thank you all.